Okay. Hey y'all, uh, it's gonna be a quick one tonight. Uh, I'm gonna make some steaks and uh, some mashed potatoes. I'm gonna throw some pepper jack cheese in there. I'll give that a shot, try that, see what happens. Make us some peas. It's gonna be a short one, quick one. Uh, I got some baby steaks here. I got little ribeyes, two little ribeyes. I got two little strips of steaks here. They're little tiny things. And I'm gonna season them up with some of DW's original barbecue rub. So, I'll let these sit down here and uh, get warmed up a little bit, get to room temperature, and let me get them seasoned up. I just turned my potatoes on, and uh, I'm going to throw them in the grill pan here over here in a minute, and uh, we'll be back when it's time to cook, y'all. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's uh, get these steaks ready to go. Uh, a little olive oil on them. Yeah, a little bit, anyway. Some of DW seasoning. I want to smell up my kitchen. I'll show you how easy it is to cook on a steak on top of the stove. Now these are small steaks. They're real thin. They're real small. They're not going to take long to cook at all. So take these off. Put that on there. I'm gonna kill it high. Well, it's getting high. Put that on there. Put that on there. I got my fan on because uh, this will smoke up your house. A little bit more oil. Turn it fire up just a little bit. I think that's up high enough. A little more seasoning. Smells good already. Hell yeah, it smells good. DW knows how to make some stuff spices. It's the best thing there is on a steak. DW's original rub, y'all. It smoked up your kitchen, but it's the best thing I've ever had on steak in my life. So we're going to let that cook for a minute. I'm thinking 90 seconds. But it's not standing right, so it may take two minutes. My potatoes are about ready. They're getting there. The peas are simmering away. It's got me about... Probably four ounces of uh, pepper jack cheese that I shredded. I don't know, I just thought I'd throw them in my potatoes today and see what happens. So when I got ready to flip these steaks, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're going to flip these steaks. That's what they're looking like. No, that ain't burnt, that's charred, that's flavor. Sorry, we opened a red wine up tonight, so uh, when I pull these steaks out, I'm gonna pour some wine in there and make me a little sauce. It's probably gonna take probably another 60 seconds here and it'll be done. We might as well let it run full time. Because it ain't gonna take these suckers long at all. Ah, right, hell, it might take more than that. Maybe 90 seconds. We'll pause. We'll come back in a minute. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, smoking up my house. Let me turn my fan on. Fan on. Okay. We filming? Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull these off now. We're going to let them rest. Hope we get the rest of the stuff going. That's what we're looking at. Sampler. <coughs> turn the fan off. Turn the fire off. Turn the fire off. Put some wine in there, you dumbass. <coughs> Make a hell of a mess. Pour that off the fire. 
melt my butter up. I'm gonna have to add more wine now. Shit happens. Don't waste the wine. We ain't wasting it. I'm making it soft. A little wine in there. Pump of butter. I know it's the wrong pan to use, but we're gonna deal with it. Put it back on the fire. Mess my hand off here. <coughs> okay, I can't breathe. You can't breathe. Okay, look at the mess I made. Yeah, you did. I'll turn the fire back on just a little bit. Melt that butter down. Pan, keep it in the pan, Keith. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing this on a grill skillet, but I'm doing it anyway, just to show you it can be done. What kind of mess you can make here? Yeah, hell yeah, I can make a mess. It's gonna work just fine. We would have thought of her ahead of time, we would have brought some time out and put in there, but I didn't think so. I never think. So, we're not gonna use no time tonight. Get all that butter incorporated into there. Easy as that. Take it off there and let that set. While the steaks rest, I'm gonna make my get my potatoes mashed, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Okay. There's my plate. Got my peas, uh, jalapeno cheddar, or what do you call that shit? Uh, pepper jack. Pepper jack cheese, potatoes, and my steak. You didn't put your. And I'll put a little bit of my sauce on here if I can get it out. A little bit on there. I know that's good. I don't have to taste it first. And just for good measures, we'll put a little bit on the potatoes. But I would like to try it in potatoes, though, without the sauce, because... Hmm. Pepper Jack cheese works in potatoes, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up there. Hmm. Well, that's good. I'm going to try that again. Piece of the steak here. So there, look at that. Medium rare in a skillet. See? It can be done. Of course, now, if you're like me, you'll make a mess. Look at my stove, my counter. Yeah, he made a major mess tonight. That's pretty damn good stuff, though, man. So, there you go. Quick little video. Pepper Jack mashed potatoes. Try that, y'all. That's yummy. And, uh, we're gonna go eat. And, uh, might clean this mess up tonight. I don't know. Oh, well, he better. So, we'll be back next time. Hey y'all, I just come back just to tell you, fucking try this. This shit rocked tonight, man. I'm not kidding. Don't make a mess like I did. Get you a real pan to make the sauce in or a real skillet. Uh, the uh, pepper jack cheese and the potatoes, I've never done that before. And man, that really fucking rocked. That, that was great. Great mashed potatoes. Yeah, they were yummy. Uh... The steak, I do that a lot, just like that. Uh, you know, that's that's no big thing. I do that a lot. I pour a little wine and butter in there, make sauce pour on the top. But everything works so well tonight in this dish. I mean, I'm not kidding. This was really a good supper. Now I got an hour to clean up my stove, but you know, it, it's worth it. This was a good meal. Y'all give it a shot, man. That, that's all. We're gonna go. Talk to you next time.